Hey guys! It's Hemi Lover 887 here. And today we're doing a video on snails having babies. That's right. So snail reproducing. I'm I'm certainly not an expert on uh, this subject about snails. I'm still learning myself. Um, so if you have any tips for me, or if you have any comments, leave them below, because um, I could really use the help. Um, so basically, we actually looked in my snail, this is my sister's snail habitat. She's got four snails in here at the moment, and I actually had three in mine. Lila, she just disappeared one day. She, I just couldn't find her, and she's gone. So that was kind of a bummer, but she's okay, I hope. And so, yeah, anyway, um, we looked this morning, and we found that two of my snails in my habitat were mating. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But basically, we changed their habitat, put a bunch of soil in um, my habitat so they can lay their eggs underneath. And we um, we moved my extra snail, Lucas, into my sister's habitat so he wouldn't bother the eggs and the, the mating session. So, um, you need... <laughs> sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Um, so basically... Uh, what you're gonna need to mate your snails if you're looking to do it on like purpose um, you need at least two inches of soil um, because they need at least two inches of soil to lay their eggs and so yeah um, you're also gonna need plenty of food and plenty of calcium what we do is we got cuttlefish and we just sprinkled it all over their food and we put a chunk in there her chunk is in here and my chunk is just in the cage but um, so basically you're gonna need that and you're gonna need usually the two snails usually are about the same size when they mate so try to get two same size snails um, we're talking about garden snails by the way and um, also you need to keep them in a very moist habitat and you don't have to worry about if they're male or female because as you probably know already snails are both sexes they're male and they're female so you don't really have to worry about that okay so uh, looking for mating, your snails have their genitals are in their like neck area and it's like a white slimy thing <laughs> that comes out and it attaches to the other snails genital area. So we'll show you what that looks like here. This is the two mating snails right here. I'll sh try to show you as best as I can. See that white thing right there? amongst the two snails that is what it looks like and they will just stay together in one spot uh oh there's a bee um they will just stay together in one spot usually and they'll move around they'll eat and i put plenty of food around them so they can just eat and i covered them with some cardboard as well so they have some shade because they don't want to move too much so i have a lot of soil in there it's about more than two inches so that's great. Um, they're gonna they're gonna have plenty of room to lay their babies, and um, so that should just be perfect for them. And we have it pretty big, a big cage for them to, you know, um, have to lay their eggs. And usually a snail lays around. I don't know. It varies really. A lot of people say like 15 to 20 or 10. To 15 some people have had like a hundred babies in a clutch a clutch is a clutch of eggs and basically they look like little white balls like little white balls they're like I don't know I can't really show you they're so tiny like you know really small and if you uh, see your snail burrowing under the dirt that's probably them laying their eggs so just leave them be and don't touch the, your mating snails uh, also so it, I don't really know how long they mate for, so I'm kind of curious on that myself. I'm going to be checking on them uh, throughout the day to see how long they're going to be mating. It might be hours, it might be days, I don't know. So um, we're going to figure that out, but once they come apart, I'm not sure how many days until they lay their eggs. But I do know if you have a plastic container like this, whoops, <laughs> you can look underneath of the container, like hold it above your head, and if you see a little, a little clutch of eggs on the bottom, uh, you will, that's eggs, obviously, and eggs, I don't know how long they take to hatch, 
might be a couple of days, I think, but I'm not positive. So, um, I just wanted to show you basically the what it looks like and what you need to do to get started on that. And you'll just have your own experience. It's always different. So, um, I hope this helps. And uh, if your snails are not laying eggs and you really want them to, try to maybe move them into an isolated container with plenty of soil and um, and make sure they're like somewhat the same size-ish. And before they start mating, they'll probably like go together, put their stomachs together and it's kind of like kissing or whatever. So they'll do that probably. And your snail can also have babies by itself, but it's less common. Um, so if you want that, keep them isolated and um, so on so <laughs> I always say that uh never mind okay anyway um so also you want uh what was I gonna say oh the mating season the natural mating season for a snail is around spring summer so if you have um if it's spring summer spring or summer that's great and they will probably mate eventually it took them about a couple of weeks to actually start mating so it's not going to be like right away. It might, but I doubt it. Um, and also if it's not spring, summer, you could try to keep them inside and like, you can look it up. Um, like what, like, I think the sun comes up late and goes down. No, it comes up early and goes down late in the summer and spring. So you could try putting a, um, a light on early in the morning and then turn it off late at night and that could kind of you know like stimulate the season sort of so um I really hope this helps those are kind of my tips on how to breed your snails and um just basically what you need to know it's not really a big deal when the babies do come you can keep them with their parents or you can move them to a separate container um, but give them plenty of calcium because they're still baby snails and they do come out with their shells but you need to have um, lots of calcium so they can grow their shells good so basically that is our snail housing video I'm sorry that you're just kind of staring at tanks but um, I hope this really helped you um, I'm kind of new to this whole snail breeding thing and I'm really excited for my first clutch of eggs so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up, rate, and subscribe, and comment if you want to. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.